Hi everyone, today we'll be making mahshi and stuffed mulberry leaves. So first we prep the ingredients. We're going to wash the squash, prepare the stuffing, and parboil the mulberry leaves. So here we're mixing the different ingredients for the stuffing together. All the ingredients are listed below. Um, we're going to mix this and set this aside while we parboil the mulberry leaves. To parboil mulberry leaves, we simply dip the leaves in boiling hot water for around one minute. That's just enough time to make them soft and lenient enough for us to stuff them and roll them without tearing. If you decide to use grape leaves, um, you should dip them for around a minute or two, maybe a bit longer, just because grape leaves are a little bit tougher than mulberry leaves. Mulberry leaves are naturally soft. Once we've washed the squash, we're ready to core the inside. Now, the nice thing about this squash that's a bit round is that it usually has very sweet pulp and so it makes the best hafer kusa, which we will show you how to make in a second. So to core the squash, you have to hold the core in a specific way. So pay attention to the way it is held because that will ensure that you don't break the squash or you don't like pierce it with the core. Once we've cored all the squash, we're ready now to stuff it with the stuffing prepared earlier. Now because the stuffing contains rice, you do need to keep some empty space at the top of the squash to allow the rice to grow and cook properly. This will ensure that your squash does not explode as it cooks in the stew that we're going to prepare later. To stuff the mulberry leaves, we remove the bottom stems and we place around a teaspoon of the filling on the bottom center of the leaf and then we roll it up as shown in the video. For the hafir kusa, which is aka the pulp of the squash, we simply saute the pulp with olive oil, mint, lots of garlic, and cinnamon, black pepper, and salt. It makes for an incredible dip and it's best served along with the kusa mahshi that we are making. Continue to saute this over medium heat until we notice that the squash pulp has caramelized perfectly. And the squash is very simple. We arrange the stuffed squash in a pot, we add boiling water, tomato paste, black pepper and a tiny bit of salt and we leave this to cook until the rice inside the squash is cooked perfectly. The stuffed mulberries are also cooked in a similar way except that we add olive oil and pomegranate molasses to the broth. Um, so yeah, the recipe is down below. Make sure to follow all the steps. All the ingredients are listed at the bottom as well. And here is the final product. Look how delicious this looks. Look how the rice is cooked to perfection. They look incredible. Here are the stuffed mulberry leaves. You'll know that they're ready once they are fork tender. That's it you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and show us some love by liking the video.